Hey guys, this video is mostly an answer to a question that I got. Uh, I got a video produced on YouTube by somebody who's watched my stuff and used my techniques and they were using it on an RV. And we were talking about speed. Sometimes I go fast, sometimes I go slow, which is better. So I thought I'd finally answer the question. Here you go. Welcome back guys. I'm gonna use uh, Super Duty to clean up this or at least start to. And what I wanna show you is that, here it is. Um, Let's see if you're in the right spot to see all this. So if you see that mark on the left of the screen, that's pretty much where I left off. And I'll be working to the right of that. So here we go again, Super Duty rubbing compound. I'm not cleaning the wheel out from the last time that I used Super Duty. Okay, put a little bit on here. You can see it's the brown stuff. Put it on, you'll hear it slide across the surface. You'll go, oh yeah, that's sandpaper. Now there's a huge, well not huge, there's a misconception about the way I do things and why it works and why it doesn't or why who gives a rat's ass. People think that I'm spinning my buffer wheel so fast that I'm melting the plastic. No. In fact, for the rest of this, I'm going to go as slow as speed possible, all the way down. This is 600 RPM. I'm just going to spread this in, cross cut, and then work it in until it's gone. My guess is, what you'll see is not only does the oxidation disappear, but it finishes really, really nice. So I'm gonna lock my speed, just work this in. You're gonna get bored. I'll get bored. Suck it.
so now the question is, what's it look like underneath? I mean, it's got to be all swirled up, right? Look at all that. Just do, 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 So I suppose we should wipe it off and see what it looks like. Remember, this is, this is super duty. Mop, mop. All right, here we go. Hold your breath. Why don't you take a look? Tell me what you think. I mean, not terrible, right? Super duty. And take a look at the reflection. There's my watch. So if you wanted, you could just get away with super duty. Now that being said, I've got these marks down here. There's one there. Indicates to me there was a pretty dull spot right up in here. So knowing that, I spent a little extra time. You might have seen it. I'm just going to inspect it from different angles and see if I can see any differences in light and darkness and where I see them and where I think I need to hit it a little bit more. So I see a little bit in the middle. Not a lot, just a little bit. And a little bit towards the left side. So I'm going to hit this with a little Super Duty again. But I think you can now at least appreciate the detail and the level of gloss you can get with just Super Duty on a wool pad. If you wanted to, you could finish that up with a little uh, heavy cut and some perfected EXAC if you wanted, or just either one of those. Sometimes I go fast, sometimes I go slow. There are reasons, there's also reasons. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.